All right, so your last step um, is to go into each layer and into the layer name, you're going to turn it into underscore A underscore. So you're going to go into each layer, go right at the beginning, underscore A underscore, and change all of the names. What this is going to do is tell the computer which layers you want to animate. You do not do underscore A underscore on your background. So that is the only one you leave alone. All the rest of them should be underscore A underscore. Then make sure you select, deselect, I've select, deselected everything. I have finished everything because this is the last, absolute last step. And then I'm going to file and instead of saving as a PSD, though I might want to do that just in case, I'm going to save it as a PSD just so I have it in case something goes wrong here. And then I am going to file export as, and I'm going to export it as a GIF. And uh, my animation is, is large, press OK to scale it. Um, since GIFs are supposed to be small, if you took a big full-size photograph, it's going to be a little too big. You can scale it so that it comes out to be like nice and GIF size. And look at that. Now, the one thing that you can play around with here is you can look at, so see if I do it that way, it's way too slow. If I do it that way, let's see, give it a second. Oh, it's way too fast. So let's see. Uh... I want a little faster. That's a little too much. That's a little too. So you can sit here and play with it. And you can even reverse frames and see if that makes a difference. Nope, that's right. All right, so this is the way I want it. It is format GIF. I am going to save. And it's going to download. And then when I click it to open it, oop, it opened on a different screen. Sorry, guys. I have my own little animated GIF or GIF, however you want to pronounce it. So you are then going to take this GIF and you are going to submit it to today's Canvas assignment. And then you are done with your animated GIF. All right. So that is it.